Nokia is participating in an ecosystem that enables application developers to access CSP networks to enrich their applications for their end users. I'm here today with Max from Liberty Global, which operates the Telenet network in Belgium, and with Nina from IMEC, which is a research institute and systems integrator that develops applications. Nina, tell me about the application that you built for remote vessel piloting at the port of Antwerp and what ne network capabilities you're using in that application. Uh, yes, we are building an edge application or edge application uh, middleware that is communicating with the 5G core, with the network and with the vessel at the same time. It collects data from the vessel, like camera feeds, uh, sensor data, location from the network, and it also uses network APIs less, like uh, quality of service on demand and also device location API that uh, help us to program the network in the way to make the requirements of the vertical industry happen actually in the network. So Max, this application is using your network. Tell me from a Telenet perspective how this is possible, how you expose these capabilities to application developers. Yeah, thank you, Jane. As uh, Nina explained, iMac have developed and deployed a very sophisticated situation awareness application that uses the latest sensor, data collection, and video technology to enable the remote captains to be in total control of the vessel until its mooring point. And the application calls two APIs. The first is uh, the location API, which is a Camara GSMA standard, and it allows to understand the precise location of the vessel. And when the vessel enters certain areas where it's a congested area or it needs higher resolution visibility, they call the network quality uh, on-demand API so that we can modify the behavior of the network to fulfill this enhanced demand for more speed, lower latency, and etc. Nokia's Network as Code platform sits between the application and the network. Nina, tell me about how this platform helps you to actually program the network. Thank you, yeah, actually this is a very simple way because we use the developer's platform from Nokia to communicate and to use APIs that are exposed and uh, it uh, just took us a few code adjustments, let's say, in the, our application to be able to actually communicate the needs with the network itself. So service providers all over the world are looking to expand access to their networks and open up new opportunities. From a monetization perspective, what does this mean to Telenet in terms of ways to create new value? Uh, for us, this trial was extremely exciting because we demonstrated the ability to, in simple way, to allow the customers and application developers to tailor the behavior of the network to their needs and we saw effectively the whole ecosystem playing from the customer, the application developer, the APIs uh, host platform and the network operators. In this particular case, CIFAR, the customer, they get loads of benefits by optimizing the operation in the port and they will pass on part of this efficiency in terms of cost reduction to all the other actors involved in all the, this end-to-end -end chain. And this is for us just the starting point of this ecosystem that is going to proliferate in the years to come. Nokia's Network as Code is connecting networks such as Telenets with applications such as iMac to create new value for the industry. To learn more, please visit Nokia.com and explore this use case further.